going to check in with investigative reporter Chris Halsney. He has more on Clemens' background and what connects him to today's crime scene. Chris. Maurice Clemens is a career criminal who was supposed to be sitting in an Arkansas prison for another 27 years after convictions for aggravated robbery, theft, and burglary. Court records uncovered by Team 7 investigators show Clemens was granted post-conviction relief, set free after getting clemency from then-Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. Clemens then came to Washington where detectives arrested him twice just this year, once for assaulting deputies, another time for child rape. Shortly after detectives confirmed four dead police officers inside this coffee shop, they found Maurice Clemens' abandoned truck in a nearby parking lot. They've hunted for him all day and night, saying he is a person of interest. 37 years old, 5 foot 8, and according to his wife, recently acting crazy, claiming to be Jesus and talking about the end of the world. If court records uncovered by Team 7 investigators are any indication, he's in serious criminal trouble, no matter how you look at it. In May of 2009, he was charged with assaulting Pierce County police officers. The report says Clemens had been breaking house and car windows up and down the street, assaulted an elderly man by hitting him three times with a rock. When officers arrived, Clemens came out of his house and hit the deputy multiple times in the head, turned on a second deputy, and started assaulting him. In June, the state of Arkansas issued an outstanding warrant for Clemens, parole violation, robbery, theft, and burglary. In July, Pierce County prosecutors charged Clemens with rape of a child, then notified him that he was a persistent offender, and if convicted, they tell him his sentence would be life without the possibility of parole. After one Pierce County judge wrote no bail for Clemens this past summer, just three weeks ago, another judge, Thomas Felnagel, reversed that order and said $150,000 bail for the rape charge was okay. There was a box checked on the paperwork, however, that says defendant shall not possess weapons or firearms. We called Judge Felnagel for a comment tonight, but he declined to come to the phone. And just a short time ago, former Arkansas governor and presidential candidate Mike Huckabee released a statement that reads, in part, should he, Clemens, be found to be responsible for this horrible tragedy, it will be the result of a series of failures in the criminal justice system in both Arkansas and Washington state. It appears that he has continued to have a string of criminal and psychotic behavior, but was not kept incarcerated by either state. It looks like Huckabee is trying to spread the blame. There's plenty to go around. Monique.